This is Twit. I want to say it was last September, Google announced that they were going to get rid of Inbox, which is the way that I do my email now. And I looked at Gmail first, of course, because I'm thinking, well, they'll, they'll, maybe they'll bring some inbox fe features over the Gmail and maybe this will work out. Gmail has turned into this horrible, horrible application. It's it's uh, <laughs> convoluted and complicated and it's got too many widgets. And I, I'm just so used to this really stripped down kind of minimalistic email uh, app that I, I decided at this point, I, I have until the end of March to decide. That's when the inbox is officially going away. I'm going to do something new for email. Now, Tied to that is this notion that I've been consolidating my various email accounts centrally to my Google account, uh, my Throt.com account, and using Inbox as the front end. And what that means is that I have these other accounts, uh, a standard Gmail account, an Outlook.com account, where I was forwarding the mail from those accounts to Gmail, to my Throt.com account. And then I've configured that account to be able to reply to or send new emails from those accounts as well. It's kind of a standard thing you can do. Um. And this change has kind of made me look at email again with fresh eyes and maybe this isn't the best way to do things, et cetera, et cetera. So the short version is what I discovered in disconnecting those accounts is that I was losing emails. Uh, and there are theories about why that might be. I, spam filters might be part of it. It's kind of hard to say why. But what I decided that was that whatever I did with email, I was never going to forward or collect email from different accounts in one place. I was going to keep them separately on the web or, you know, the web service, so I'll keep them separate. And then I would use some kind of an application to do the consolidation there. In other words, I'll collect the email from all the accounts, preferably see them in a single view, you know, sing, uh, single inbox view on both mobile and, and the desktop. Um, pretty early on, I would say by the end of last year, I decided that I would go with the Outlook mobile uh, client for mobile. It's a Microsoft app, obviously. Um, they don't offer this on the desktop, right? So there's a Windows Mail client that's built into Windows 10, which is a cartoon app. It's terrible. It's nothing like Outlook Mobile. I wish they made Outlook Mobile on Windows, but they don't. And I, I don't, I, I, I've had a hard time finding a good application, like an actual native application. Then a reader recommended this thing called Postbox. And Postbox is really interesting. It's $40. It's a one-time purchase. Uh, you can use it across multiple platforms. I believe it's, I think, I'm just saying this now. I'm not even sure. I'm not using it on the Mac. I believe it's on Mac and yeah, Windows. But if Mac. it is, it's, yep. Yep. It no, is I've okay. used it on the Mac. It's, um, okay, I've not tried it on the Mac yet. But it's, um, you know, multiple uh, Windows PCs, which is crucial for me because I do a lot of reviewing and so forth, different laptops and everything. Um, it does exactly what I'm asking for. Um, multiple accounts. Single view. It's got a nice and really customizable UI. Um, you know, it's a three-pane view by default. I use a, a two-pane view, whatever. But you can make this look or work exactly how you want. It is astonishingly good. And um, I've been testing it at least a month now. And this is absolute. This is definitely what I'm gonna what, what I'm gonna go with. Um, it, it's just an excellent, excellent email application. So I will write about this formally sometime in the next week. I've been meaning to do that, but. I want, I know people, people keep every so, you know, every so often someone will ask, Hey, what's going on with this thing? I know you said you were switching, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to be using Postbox. And by the way, you can try it for free for 30 days. I strongly, strongly recommend spending a lot of time looking at how you can customize it. Um, because you can, it can do anything. I mean, you can, you can look and like I said, and work however you want it to. If you want to keep all your emails separate and different folder structures, you can do that. If you want a single view like I do. You can do that. Sports dark mode, light mode. You can change the toolbars. You can change the way it looks. You can it. The, it's it's fantastic. The keyboard shortcuts are logical. Where it's it's a fantastic application. And I've never I haven't been able to say that about an email application since like Eudora. I mean, it's been forever <laughs> on on the client. Um, I think Gibson I found, still uses Eudora. Yeah, I looked. <laughs> Look, I looked at Thunderbird. I looked yeah, at all kinds no. of stupid. I mean, it's it, there are lots um, of good choices on uh, on Macs. On the Mac, yes, there are. Yeah, and it there are dearth of decent choices. You know, yep, it's like Pegasus. that is exactly right. I've been using Claws on Windows, but okay, I use something on uh, the Mac called Boxy Suite, and yeah. what that is is a it's a front end to the Google stuff, but it's highly customizable. So I used the Boxy client for Inbox before. It looks just like Inbox, which is all I want. Right. Um, the Boxy client for Gmail, which is part of Boxy Suite, they also have Calendar, is, uh, you know, it looks like Gmail by default, which is what I don't want, but they customize it. And so you can actually make that look really simple. 
Um, I will be switching to Postbox because, you know, I want the same thing everywhere. But um, I had been using, and, and for months, I had been using the, the boxy stuff. And that stuff's great on the Mac. I there is there is a there are a few things like this in Windows, but you're right. There, there, it's amazing how many more of those types of things are on the Mac than there are on Windows, yeah, I and I can't yeah. I can't quite explain it. I but have it's, I've it, it's really been uh, challenged to find a nice client for Windows, yeah. so I'm going to try this. So look out. at this thing; it's yeah. it's it's beautiful, and if you like it, um, because it does work every you know on Windows and Mac, you can have the same thing everywhere, and that there's some advantage to that. You don't have to think oh, yeah. you know as you oh, switch yeah. between computers. Absolutely. Good pick, thank you. postbox inkcom is yeah is the um, is the website. Okay. That's right. 